Jim Saad is here today as FanDuel Hurry Up talking about running backs I think are undervalued heading into 2021. That for me starts with Antonio Gibson. He is the RB13 right now. I've got him at RB12, and that may not seem like a big gap, but it is a significant gap at that point in the draft. The big reason I like Gibson this year is because this offense will be better, and better offenses score more touchdowns. It's actually pretty simple. We saw Gibson last year get a lot of early down work, but also sprinkling in some targets. We saw at Memphis, Gibson is a guy who can definitely do some work in the passing game. If he gets that this year on a more efficient offense, I think the upside for Gibson is great. So where he's going in drafts right now, to me, makes a lot of sense, and he is worth targeting in the second round. A guy similar to Gibson is Miles Gaskin. They're similar because both these guys are going to get work both as rushers and as receivers. And Gaskin should also be on a better offense this year with Tua Tunga Vailoa in year two and also having Will Fuller and Jalen Waddell in the fold. We saw Gaskin get heavy workloads last year, even after we saw the Dolphins' other backs perform well in his absence. He came back from COVID last year against the Raiders, had 14 carries and five targets, and was the clear best back on that team. This offseason has said the Dolphins are not too interested in finding a replacement for Gaskin, so we should have faith in him. He's the RB24 right now. I've got him ranked at RB21. The reason I like Zach Moss for this year is not due to the camp buzz he's gotten during OTAs. It's more so because... I want low-cost access to this offense, and Zach Moss gives it to me as the RB36 right now. And also, we saw last year, towards the end of the season, the Bills starting to expand Zach Moss's role. He had at least 12 carries in weeks 14 through 16, didn't get a lot of work in week 17 with the Bills already locked into their seating, and then the playoffs. Moss's role was going up. He had seven carries and four targets, but then got hurt and missed the rest of the postseason. Moss is now healthy, should be good going into this year, and if he can get that that passing down work once again, I think his upside is huge given how good this offense can be. He'll never be the goal line guy. That's still going to be Josh Allen, but Zach Moss, his RB36 is undervalued and someone worth targeting if he can get that passing down work. That's all we've got for today's FanDuel Hurry Up. I am Jim Son is saying so long for today. Back next week, talk about undervalued wide receivers heading into 2021.